Hey everybody, this is Vril. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 and our playthrough is Fascist Argentina. So we took over Panama and Costa Rica in the last episode and we're continuing on to Nicaragua, Honduras, Guatemala, El Salvador, and finally Mexico will be in, I think, November is when that justification will be made. So we'll see how that goes. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and start boosting Fascist Party popularity in the U.S. And I'm going to start staging a fascist coup as well. This could be an option to do a communist coup. It's going to cost a lot of infantry equipment. That's actually, I wasn't really thinking about that, but I think we're okay. We've got a lot of stockpiled ones, so maybe we can use that. I don't, I don't know how that it exactly works, what it, what it uses in those. So we'll at least try that and we'll see what happens. So our political power, eh, it will still be better than what it used to be. Need some aluminum, apparently. I think we already traded for that. So continuing on here, we actually, let's go ahead and add these guys. And they'll start to move their way. I think, anyway. Maybe I need to cancel whatever they're doing. There, there they go. So finishing the logistics company, we were upgrading our support companies here to 1942. So moving on to engineering. Yes, yeah, so we do need more aluminum. We're not going to do a national focus anymore because we're pretty much other than our naval tree, pretty much completed our, our focus tree. We're not doing technology sharing because we don't have any uh, faction. So These guys, uh, they're attacking us, so we're defending. I guess we were not attacking on this one, so we'll easily be able to get around here. wonder if the US, I see some American forces, are they helping? Yeah, they keep sending, um, no? Volunteers? Not aggression pack, but Nicaragua, okay. Seems really useful. Let me continue on to the ones that cost a little bit more. I don't know if this, how long this uh, research time reduced by is going to last, but we'll do these other ones. Apparently we're having some supply throughput issues. I guess we could look at that. Yeah, it's slightly bad here. I think we're having some issues receiving. Yeah, I think it looks like the US is completely out of aluminum. So let's start trading with the Soviets, actually. I'm not going to trade with the Germans because they probably need that uh, more than I do. <laughs> All right, so we took over Nicaragua. We've got a few new military factories that'll come online. This number really fluctuates every time we stop warring. I'm almost thinking to create another line of infantry equipment. That'll start from zero in term, not zero, but start from the minimum production efficiency, but I think that's really what we need, so... Are we at war with these guys? Yes, we are. Or just attack. I don't even need a front line. We do have available war goals in Guatemala. I guess we'll wait on that. How long for El Salvador is also in November. The fall of Tokyo. American forces have entered Tokyo and the U.S. War Department recently announced an end to major combat operations in the city. Fighting was reported as heavy. I mean, we're in 1942, so crazy. Um, 
Fighting was reported as heavy, particularly in the vicinity of the Imperial Palace, which was defended by fanatical members of the Imperial Guard, even though the Emperor is believed to have left the city before America, the American assault began. With the fall of Tokyo, experts predict the organized resistance on the rest of the Japanese home islands will soon crumble. Peace negotiations are expected to begin shortly unless Japanese hardliners convinced that the Emperor continues to fight until fight to the death. So, actually, you know, even in all of my time lapses, I have never seen... Well, I'm not seeing it anyway. <laughs> I guess I see the Americans are here, so I don't know why that... Ah, oh, wait. Yeah, they're here. Yeah, they did like a landing in Tokyo Bay. Okay. Who do they think they are? Godzilla? Okay, so no focus. We know about that. We need steel, though. Lots of steel. These guys can be added up here. We might be moving out of territory that has air cover. I'd have to check. No, we are in Central America. We have air cover. Okay, that probably will be the end for Honduras. Okay. Even more uh, trading to do, but let's uh, check to see if we actually need to do that. So, I know this is like way over these guys, but it'd be easier if we just merge these guys up. The way over is um, his count here, his limit, but that's okay. Had we justified? Yes, we did. Get these tanks up to right are trained at least because uh, they're green right now rounding the corner that is probably the end of this I would assume there it is Okay, so for here, we'll start thinking about the... Are these guys assigned to this front? I thought... Okay, it is 30 divisions. So we are justifying against Mexico. That will be our next step. It'll be done on November 9th. Same goes for El Salvador. Was done on also November 9th. So looking at the terrain here, mountainous, jungle. We do have our naval guys out here search and destroy missions. We boost our speed up. Ah, we actually have some dockyards and stuff that we've captured that we need to be assigned. So yeah, these infantry equipment three needs to come online. More steel. We've got to be spending a ton of steel or a ton of civilian factories. Maybe we're actually at our cap for civilian factories and trading. Let me look. What did that actually tell us? Traded goods, 45 of 64. Yeah, we need some more civilian factories, I would say. Let's go ahead and start building some. Yeah, we really were only focusing on military factories throughout this. Don't have to worry about like partisans having causing us trouble with any of this. 
No national focus, we know about that. And actually, let me check on my coup d'etat and all this stuff going on here. It's starting to come up to the fa uh, Silver Legion of America. Fascist party. Next research slot. All right, well, we'll continue on to decryption. I got total of minus 23 for research time. That's quite good. If only we could do this uh, Grand Assault, this um, Land Doctrine is a little bit quicker. That'd probably be the best thing. We're about to get done with the first step of Atomic Research, too. And I'm pretty sure we have a bonus after that. Questioning the motives of Mexico. Should we do next here? Yeah, let's get this guy. Could actually use a change to our manpower. I should have done that, but we'll we'll be getting that political power. We're generating it pretty quick right now. Okay, so Bulgaria has capitulated as well. Let me go ahead. So these guys should be on this border. Somehow I assign them to that border and they don't actually assign. Don't quite understand that. And they should be generating offensive lines. These guys should be as well. I'm surprised we don't have more information about the Mexican army here. Because our decryption, uh, encryption, that's what we've been working on. It should be high enough. Yeah, we'll finally have a planning bonus. We really haven't been doing any of that. These guys are taking some attrition here. That's okay. Atomic research is done, so we'll move on to... Yeah, this uh, 50% ahead of time. Uh, time penalty re reduced by 50%. So we'll move on to that. What is it telling us for this? 864 days. Yeah, that'll take a little while. So I think it was like November 9th that the uh, war would be uh, be justified here. I mean, I, w I guess it would be smart to be a little bit more, um, you know, have some like landing craft and let me at least probably set up some aircraft. But what do we got here? A thousand planes. These guys can move to Guatemala, and then we'll be assigning them. Is this a different theater here? To the Mexican theater. Cancel that for a moment. Okay, so it looks like we did finish off all of these. So we'll start working on... What was over here? Radar? Okay. Okay. I bet these aircraft are ready to go, so we'll put them in Mexico. We've got some spare aircraft if we need it, it looks like. But I think this will probably be pretty good. Okay, so we've justified El Salvador, which will be very easy. It'd be funny if um, the time that we declared war on El Salvador, that that would be the one that called the allies in, but <laughs> it wasn't. Go ahead and have good relations. We'll see. This one could be the one that calls somebody in. It takes leads us to our doom. Okay, well, we'll see. We'll get these guys off of this front once we capitulate El Salvador. 
I haven't really been paying attention at all to like what our casualties have been in these wars. I'm sure it's very, very little. All right, so taking all states. So we were actually maxed out on our infantry equipment, three factories. What else could we even work on? I guess we could start pumping out fighter aircraft and bombers. It's actually something we should research is, I don't think we did, did we? Okay, we are on to, maybe we never upgraded these though? No, we did, okay. There's nothing better. Or our improved artillery, yeah, we could upgrade that. Although were we, Okay, now we have researched to the max. So. Go ahead and upgrade that. Our tanks are the best. I think we went... To light tank 3 and that was kind of be where we were going to stop on that whole thing. Rather than going down medium tanks. So I think we're about to encircle the uh, the guys over here. Let me make sure everybody's actually in this battle. Because those other guys were in... Yeah, they are. Okay. 30 divisions. Yeah, so these guys are about to encircle them. Of course, we're paused. Need more steel, need more aluminum. But we have, uh, we can't do anything about that. No civilian factories. I was never expecting this, um, you know, to go on as long as it has. <laughs> and us to take over all of Central America here without the Americans, somebody coming in, becoming involved. Okay, we have a little bit of tr uh, trouble with getting into here, Mexico City. We can support or attack. This guy's up on the hill there. Probably getting some supply issues because of all this rapid progress and uh, ports need to come online. That kind of stuff. Engineering Company 3, so these guys can go just head, take out, well... Yeah, let's have them take out these guys, so... Research slot available. Moving on to Recon Company 3. How's our construction doing? Because we built these coastal forts that we... Who knows? Well, maybe we won't even need them. Hungary has capitulated. Well, so far this doesn't seem like it's going all that well. There, it's starting to tick positively. These are all defensive. Okay, what are they doing? Yeah, I think, I'm not sure what happened there, because they pulled off from that whole, whole uh, attack there. They might be thinking that they need to go on to this other front line over here. Or these guys are being reinforced somehow. But it appears to me, yeah, that we were attacking that. Let's move right on. I guess we're going to be defending. Yeah, we have plenty of aircraft that have not been assigned to anything. We've got, we need aluminum, rubber, or steel. So as soon as we take this over, then I think, let me look here. Let's get this motorized guy to, are they defending or attacking? Okay, they're attacking. 
Well, we are up to 1943 now. We've lost uh, some casualties. We have some casualties there. I mean, we're not... The way I'm doing this is not efficient at all. We're not really using too many tactics here. I think that... One part of the problem and why I'm... Ignore some tactics that I could do is that... Really, the province density in you know in the South America in the Americas because that's obviously not the priority of the game um, is a little bit you know like over in Europe these provinces are going to be split up a whole lot more the density of the provinces will be much higher so there's more opportunity like on the Russian step to do an encirclement so I'm not too worried about doing that especially with how this playthrough has gone. So we will... which is Mexico City worth? Where are our other... I don't really see where they are. I really need a victory point map. There's one. There's one there. Probably in Baja here. It's seeing one though. Maybe it's just Mexico City. We'll certainly be taking it. But we'll have to get everybody into position here. How is our coup d'etat working here? So, fascist party is up to 13%. That's nice. What have we got here? I don't know which icon is targeting a pending coup backed by foreign powers. So, September 17th, or September, yes, yeah, September 17th of 43. So that's um, nine months away. So yeah, with that said, it does look like we're out of time for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll continue our invasion of Mexico in the next one, and then we'll see what we want to do here with the U.S. and that whole coup d'etat we're trying to attempt. So hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.